Like there's my tent site. Oh, and look at who my neighbors are. <laughs> Middle of the night, I heard this weird noise. And, yeah, it's them chomping on grass and eating it. I'm like, what is going on? And then I'd hear some light little footsteps. And that's who kept me company last night. They uh, would moo once in a while, and it was uh, a little melody that put me to sleep. <laughs> All right, good morning. What is this, day six? Wow. All right, it's town day, so I'm heading into Salida. Let's get going. Well, I figured I always film after I've done a climb. And I figured this time I'd film while I'm doing the climb. One, you can see how the trail looks. Uh, this is a trail that's not atypical because um, most of them aren't as rocky as this. But what this is, is a lot of runoff, and so that's what you get left is uh, just the rocks. The uh, volunteer crews do do a really good job of building water breaks. And sometimes with the steepness and the fact that this is has a ravine, you can't really avoid something like this. But... Uh, just figured I'd give you a little of the steep trail time. So right here, the mar marker's telling us the trail goes to the left. And then the Little Browns Creek Trail looks like that continues straight on. They got some really good markers up here. So I think I'm peeking out here. Uh, so we'll... Uh, We'll get back to doing some two and a half mile an hour instead of one to one and a half mile an hour speeds. I know that's breakneck for you guys. Strap in your, your seat belts. Here we go. Downhill, yay! Just ran across a guy who's gonna try to do an Ontario uh, Mountain. It's a 14er and uh, as you can tell, this is where the trail continues, but he, he must have come up that trail. So uh, he's all pumped and uh, hopefully he'll be able to make it. So I am filtering water and I like to use the gravity effect. And so I have my hole stuck in there got a little bend to it, so I don't want to put too much more water than I did, which is full capacity pretty much. So, so next time I'll probably do, instead of three liters, which that is, do more like two. I'm going to get a lot of water here. I, um, dry, I was at a dry camp last night, and uh, so I was pretty low on water. I uh, conserved it as much as I could with dinner and breakfast and so as that filters I'll uh, I'll fill that one up grab my other bottle fill that up and while that's filling up I'll try to drink as much as I can to get myself hydrated again uh, that's the game you have to play when you're climbing these mountains you don't want to have too much water on your back because of the weight 
but you also want to have enough. And uh, so you, uh, you kind of estimate what you need. And so I think I underestimated and uh, I'm doing okay. Um, no cramps or anything like that. So we made it. All right. town of Salida and I'm not sure if you can see it right down there in that valley it's where the Arkansas River runs through it that's our destination tonight Whew. it's kind of cool those are bite marks from an elk on this tree that just fell the tree's still green check it out though Look at the bite marks. Let's see if I can zoom it in. Yeah. Elk will eat that. The bark. Pretty cool. So there's the pen, and you can see all the cows over there. But this one thinks the grass is greener on this side of the fence. What are you doing? Just be satisfied with what you got. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit. Yeah, you better head back. I'm gonna be taking a um, shuttle into Salida once I get to Highway 50 and plan on having a really big juicy burger and maybe one beer or a milkshake. On this ridge just topped out back there and as you can tell there's a this is a moraine again um, and the, the valley below I don't know if you can see how steep it is but I gotta go down this and then up that once I do that it's home free 
I think it's like four miles from there, mostly downhill to Route 50, which goes over Monarch Pass. See that trail diagonal? We were just on that ridge and dropped 800 feet. Came up to this ridge. I think it was 800 feet. I'll have to double check. And it was 106 over there. It's now 211. I'll figure out how many, how far that was. That was a haul, and I did it. Did it nicely. That's what a burger will uh, encourage you to do. summary 16.5 miles we are now in Salida at the simple hostel I've got a bunk got a shower it's got some got me some nice uh, loner clothes while my clothes are getting washed gotta love it um, it's had a really good day saw some uh, interesting wildlife today a pheasant in a tree that was really cool um, saw that hawk flying, got a picture of that, that was awesome. Um, looking forward to having a big old hamburger, wash it down with a bro. I'm only going to stick with one because I've got miles to do tomorrow. Alright, hope you had a great day, we'll see you tomorrow.